Another feature of prison life, of course, is the, uh, the uniforms that we had to wear and the haircuts that we had to have. I believe that's changed now. But one of the very first things to happen once I was taken from remand to A Division was that I was uh, given a uniform. It's like a, a grey sort of overcoat, I think a striped shirt, grey trousers, big heavy sort of boots, or like really shoes. And uh, underwear was also a prison uh, issue. It was very uncomfortable as I remember it and I think you could only change it once a week or twice a week. We also were given regulation haircuts. I think I had to have my hair cut the first day that I was there or maybe it was when I was taken over to A Division. But I had the hair cut in remand, I know that. I was in D when I had the, my hair cut. And it was very unpleasant because I had very long hair as was the fashion then, and I was quite proud of my hair. And this uh, screw took me over to the, we'll call him the barber, and he, it was obvious that he was a prisoner. And that was the kind of job that the authorities would give to what they called trustees. Often these trustees were real bad men, like they were, they might be in for child sex murders and that type of thing. And because the other prisoners would hate them, they would often cooperate as informers or whatever with the prison authorities. And uh, they'd be given cushy jobs. Not, all, not everyone in a cushy job would fit that category, but there were some who were like that. I found out later that this bloody barber was in that category. He was a nasty-looking character. I heard that he was doing a long time, a long sentence. And he sat me down and I thought, well, gee, I've got nothing to lose. So I just whispered to him, hoping the screw who was watching us wouldn't notice. And I said, oh, mate, don't cut it too short. And he whispered back, yeah, OK. But, gee, he turned out to be a real bastard. He gave me the shortest haircut I've ever had in my life. It was almost like a American Marine crew cut. That was bad enough, but the really nasty thing... At one stage he was using electric uh, clippers and uh, he dug the, the teeth of these electric clippers into the back of my neck and I felt the pain but then I forgot about it. But when my parents visited me a week or so later, and, you know, they said, oh, your hair looks nice and all that, show us how it's cut. And when I turned round they were horrified. They complained to the authorities because I had a nasty gash in the back of my neck uh, from those electric clippers. I think the haircut and the uniforms were obviously designed to uh, dehumanise, to make us all the same, to take away our individuality, but it had special impact with us political prisoners because we were part not only of a political movement but of a cultural movement that was concerned with uh, overturning the ways of the older generation. And part of that was asserting our right to dress and to follow fashions of our choice. And long hair took on a particular significance uh, at that time. So cutting our hair was really uh, more significant than it may seem to whoever listens to this tape in years to come.